Now that I've shown you how to use the VIP with the CTRL standalone, I'm going to show you how to use it inside of a DAW. It ships with Ableton Live Lite. I'm going to be showing it to you in Ableton Live 9 Suite because that's what I have on my machine, but there's a lot of crossover and it will still make a lot of sense for when you're getting started. I have my Ableton Live now loaded up. If I go on to my VST and I have it loaded into my custom, I'll see way down below I have this VIP. So I'm going to take that VIP and I'm going to drag it on over. Here we go. And it's going to load it up there. You also notice that my CTRL 49 has noticed it's been launched and it has gone and, and opened up the VIP software inside of it. So let's close the interface here for VIP. And it's already record enabled, so I'm going to have it set up and working. Now I can not hear anything yet, right? So I'm going to go to my preferences. And I'm going to say to it, hey, I want the audio output to be going. I have my MPC Renaissance plugged in right now, so I'll select that as my sound source. I have a record enabled. There's a plug-in on it. So now I have that sound coming out. It's usually a really good place to look if you're not hearing anything is check the preferences, see where the audio output is.